Hey guys, welcome back. Maris here and today we have new world and of course there's a new update. Now one day later than we used to have them at Tuesdays, but well you see there's October 27th if you are in America, in Europe it's already 28th, so yeah, that's the latest update. Let's jump to the patch notes, I'll quickly run through so you know what's going on. Actually the servers are on maintenance as we speak, so recording is as we received so blah 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 introduction nobody cares because patch notes contains all the same information so uh, they are rolling back out outpost rush and server transfers because they were on hold there are server um, times when they release uh, outpost rush as you can see uh, in US West and East different time zones uh, that's Pacific, I guess, and Central Europe, well, you see all the time. So uh, down in the description will be the same link to this pa these patch notes, of course, if you miss them. And as always in the description as well, we'll paste everything that we have here. So server transfers will be enabled when downtime from uh, this update is done. So. I guess five hours from now but um yeah they are of course fixing they had to take it down uh no servers or stars are required all that blah 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 but general changes so this is where the patch notes really starts so they removed the everhole starting beach to funnel new players through the three other locations to increase probability of new players friend uh and friends begin with the same be able to start together so there were four starting zones now there are only three as far as i can tell so far far light uh, monarch's bluff and cutlass keys uh so i'm sure why not not sure who's starting just now but okay <laughs> uh, so next is first house discount reduce the price the purchase price but not the tax so that was previously misleading um so however the user interface indicated to players that their taxes would be reduced as well and it was only after purchasing the house and needed to pay the tax to discover there's a full price so they are compensating any player who purchased the house before the user interface fix uh, and they will give 2000 coins okay sure that's small amount but still it's compensation they could just fix it and said ah so cool for from them i believe i will receive those 2000 coins as well so slightly improved performance within wars so this is something like okay we'll see we'll see how the performance increases uh, next they improve the performance of the life staff it changes to the passive abilities, mending touch and blissful touch. Haven't played with live stuff so much, so I hard for me to comment on this, but here here they are. Here are the updates, okay? Um, in update 1.0.3, uh, they were correcting bug causing companies to lose income from owning multiple territories or from failed war declarations. With these updates, we are re reimbursing lost coin revenue okay cool so they fixed an update and now again kind of not compensation but um, still patching it up and giving back lost coin nice so the company treasure will be re reimbursed for the lost coin revenue resulting from the issue the revenue return will not exceed the treasury cap Okay, and the company, if the company has completely abandoned, there will be no recovered lost coin. So, if you have abandoned your your company, then there is nowhere to recover the po uh, coin, of course. Okay, then they are increasing faction cap, token cap, by 50% for each tier. Each tier, that's, that's the best part. They made the change so the players can earn extra trophies token even if they have hit a reputation cap and we want to set up uh, working in advance for next uh, faction rank here are the new values so 
long story short, there was always a problem when you are hitting the cap before you can advance to next uh, rank. And you had to basically purchase some in-between tier stuff just so you don't lose that tokens uh, because the cap was too small, to be honest. And the last one, um, tier 5, uh, 50,000 tokens, there are items that cost 50,000. So basically there's no way you can gather as much as you need without losing something extra. And whenever you have had previously the 50,000, then you purchase something, you are at zero. So like, yeah, there was no, absolutely no, uh, let's say that, that buffer zone. So now this cap 75,000, yes, that's basically they, that should be there in the first place. But okay, anyways, that is improved, great. But here is the best part, the general bug fixes, because the game has a lot of bugs. And the first one is, uh, puts a smile on my face because this is the problematic one. They fixed an issue where the faction token cap were not increased after player completed the rank up quest for the faction. Yes, actually, I know someone who, <laughs> uh, someone, brother got this bug. Uh, he advanced from tier four to tier five to purchase finally those awesome things that cost some of them uh, 50,000 and his cap was still at 25. So basically there's for the week, for the week or more, there is no way for him to purchase any high level um, items because his cap is only 25. So a huge disappointment and not game breaking, but yeah, well, not happy at all. Uh, so yeah, that bug is, I'm, I'm just showing the, these caps. If you don't have the, if you have this bug, you are stuck with previous amount, which is way low, lower than, okay, you get the point. Next, they uh, fixed a rare issue causing world time to skip ahead or behind, which would subsequently uh, cause a warrior vari variety damn it, of issues across the world. Yes, I think our server was the first one to, to get this bug. Uh, that was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, one of the main things that is, um, if you're thinking about the issues that causing is that ta tax you have to pay for houses. Remember, we don't have a discount. So if the time skips ahead, let's say for a week, one week ahead, you have either to pay again tax that you just paid or you you are basically kicked out of all, your, all of your houses. Nothing else really changes in the world per se, but this, these taxes and, and basically all the government parties that have to pay on a weekly basis, yes, they, they, it's, it's pretty screwing up all the things. So hopefully not happening anymore. Fixed an issue causing players to lose house they owned in Cutlass Keys. Haven't, don't have house there, but sounds pretty bad bug. Now fixed. Um, fixed several rare server crash issues. Yes, it would be nice. Just a reminder, server um, crashes are of course worse, but basically you reconnect, no problem there, but the game has a huge problems uh, dividing uh, computer resources in general. Uh, I noticed that the Steam gets buggy when the game is running, uh, the Chrome sometimes crashes, the Edge, basically any video player or, or um, media player is, is also uh, facing some issues when New World is running. So the game itself is built something, this, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the, cra the server crashes is just one thing, but it's fixed. They are also fixing the issues with the suspension ban notification showing incorrect times. Hopefully I have no, no business with suspension and ban. So, okay. Fixed an issue where players could use their world transfer token while they still have active trading post contracts, causing additional issues when the tra transfer resolved. I believe this is one of the popularly known thing as uh, money making glitch the basically abusing the transfer token i haven't been in in that area but i just uh, read that people are uh, quite upsetting how the finance and, and, and economy is 
suffering from these updates because there is always some exploit that pl players are using. Okay. Fix the issue causing some AI to not spawn in the world as intended. Wait, what? I mean, uh, I mean, honestly, they're thinking about causing issues some AI not spawn in the world as intended. So AI is artificial intelligence, which usually means that NPCs are acting according. They, they have AI. They are not AI. But not spawning AI would be like NPC not acting at all because they have no artificial intelligence but I don't know who who made up this sentence and what the intention was to inform us about but there's something about that thing fixed cool fixed an issue where Mirgard corrupt corrupted portals in shattered mountains were disturbing higher tier gear than intended and responding faster than intended oh no you don't want to give players better gear than you wanted to right like with the loot boxes and reagents so sure okay now it's fixed also they are fixing an issue where enemies in mirgar corrupted portals events were dropping loot oh no the loot where you have still absolutely no logical sense and you have you receive um, uh, magical stuff with strength and dexterity and, and just 99% of all the loot that drops is absolutely useless at all at any point so of course you don't want such things to be dropping in these portal events fix an issue uh, causing an unintended animation where interacting with the bubbling cauldron housing item and an issue causing the lead i don't know this word lead level object to not appear in the player's hand while interacting I was reading this and thinking I don't have the cauldron, but I have noticed sometimes the tool, any tool you use, mining pick or, or a fishing rod, uh, they sometimes disappear completely out of your hand and you just look silly, but ah, that's just minor visual glitch. Um, what else we have? Finally, uh, fixed an issue where star metal and orichalcum ore veins, where large ore veins were rewarding small amounts of ore and small ore veins were a rewarding large amount of ore. So I, I will just point out here, the problem is not the amount, also the time that takes you to gather that vein. Basically there was flipped, uh, the small one was the big one and the big one was not the small one. Not only amount, but also a amount of time you need to gather. So I hope they actually fix that as well. If, if, if not, that would be ridiculous. Now you would take a lot of time to gather a small vein and you will at the end receive small amount of ore which will absolutely make these small veins useless and no one will touch them kind of anyways uh, i hope that is also in this fix uh, fix an issue where the war lottery timer would not pause correctly during the war lockout period Okay, that these um, timers where the war is initiated, then corruption is not attacking that territory. So basically, and if the territory is not bothered by wars in between factions, then corruption usually kicks in. I understand that's the timer where they have they do not overlap. Uh, what the next we have fixed on the render distance of jack o' lantern pumpkin light. Yeah, from all the bugs, this is absolutely you needed to fix, of course. Fix an issue that causing the GM chat tag to show on non-GM players. So, just a quick note here. The, the chat itself, the structure have its uh, separated channels and then you have a feed where you kind of can select what you want to see in your feed. Not working, lagging behind, absolute garbage. Please just remove the chat overall because if you haven't, if you don't know how to implement chat in the okay, no, 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 no bad words, but the chat is absolutely the worst. The delay is the worst. If, if you are playing when the play, I believe it's it's connected with the servers. When the servers are full, they have some kind of lag, huge lag. I'm talking about. Uh, one to two minutes lag when you enter something in your um, company chat, nothing, sometimes nothing even appears. 
uh, when it's early in the mornings and the servers are empty, everything works fine. So uh, just just saying, just saying, this one tag thing is least of the problem regarding the chat. Okay. Next, we have fixed any issue causing armor textures to flicker. Okay, I've seen that. Hopefully, sounds good improvement. Uh, fixed an issue in the Starstone Barrels expedition where the arcane protection were not protecting players from certain lasers. I can see how the, the lasers uh, in the one of this this expedition, whenever you touch them, you die immediately. So that might be a problem. It's not like it, they are ticking and you take damage. You die instantly. So if one of the lasers are still going through the shield, you're receiving the uh, expedition, that would make you unable to uh, get in certain locations at all. So that's cool that they fixed it. Fixed an issue where the certain enemies in our, our Amrain expedition excavation. Why it's excavation now? We're invulnerable. So I'm now just noticing they they are called expeditions and now this is excavation. Okay, maybe I just missed and one of them are always were excavation. Okay. Uh, fixed an issue where the ice pylon could stay on an infinite cooldown. So basically one of your abilities are not usable anymore. Cool, that is fixed now and also fixed an issue where players could obtain rings that had two perks sharing an exclusive perk label and shouldn't exist in the same ring. So one thing I wanted to note here, I'm not, I haven't paid attention which are the um, exclusive perks because there is literally in the game one of the quest items you receive has exactly the same perk. Um, it's luck when you receive extra chance to get rare loot from mobs and, and chests and the second one is exactly the same 2.1 or 1.9 percent something like that so you're you have that item designed and put in quest reward and now you're saying they shouldn't exist you made it exist it, it, what i'm saying it's not a random generator problem where you have the same exact perks. They have, I haven't seen random generate, but okay, just saying, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Fixed initial causing the projectile visual to be absent from the ice gauntlet and ice pylon attacks. Okay, and fixed initial where players would be unable to compare complete a variety of game actions after fast traveling. Yeah, I guess I've seen that. One of our expedition uh, players had this enter the dungeon and couldn't do anything. Had to die and respawn to untrigger it. All right, and then there we have speca speculative fixes. I can't pronounce names today. So fixes list below are tentative fixes and mitigations, or their goal has is to get these changes out and see if they persist so they continue to work on them and address feature updates if necessarily so three major fixes uh, fix the war exploit where players could use area of effect uh, magic effects to capture rally points without taking damage so another absolutely game breaking war exploit bug uh, this should be improved by the war performance and life stuff performance updates that was above but they will continue to monitor if the issue persists so previously there was at least two bugs exploits that were used to absolutely destroy and wars so okay now this one is also fixed and also they have fixed several known causes of players being invulnerable this issue is a top priority for the team and we are working, they are working uh, to track down these fixes and additional causes of this issue. Okay, so kind of they realize that the game is absolutely missing the content and one of the big things is that the territory wars that are absolutely broken. Well, full exploits, that's to be fair. Uh, and the last one, they have speculated. What is this word? 
They fixed an issue where players could get stuck after leaving outputs rash. Uh, that was a rare issue and our team were not able to reproduce it. They are continuing to monitor a lot. So last point basically is like you have an issue, you give it to IT guys and they're like, everything works fine now. I can not fix something. I can't see the problem. So hopefully the problem is gone. But yeah, that's that. So these are all the updates. Uh, just a reminder, we are talking about New World Update 1.0.4 October released, end of October. So yes, uh, one thing I will just mention, uh, there are fixes that I implemented previously and they were not actually working. So everything I just read, there's just we need to jump in the servers and see what actually is fixed and what new problems they have introduced while fixing other things. So far, a uh, new world, and it's not in the bad way, but some somehow is, but I see the um, connection with Fallout 76. Uh, the game was released not fully polished, a lot of bugs, a lot of issues, a lot of exploits, a lot of frustration, a lot of other things, but all that t putting a aside still quite enjoyment in the game if you can avoid all of these bugs and no not go there where they are or, or exploits for example the wars are absolutely frustrating if a, a enemy team is using exploit and absolutely just destroying you so anyways uh, just this small thing that the reminders the feeling uh, how game you can find bug after bug after bug after exploit but you still keep playing because it's fun where those bugs are absent it's similar as fallout 76 which i believe now after three years of your release i don't know how much years passed they still have full of bugs but still the game if you find the fun in it yeah go for it <laughs> all right thanks guys this is update um new world uh, I don't think I have any extra information on it, but if you have any questions regarding anything down in the comment section, feel free. And we'll meet in other videos. Cheers.